Okay, so we are in part B of the distributive property. This next section is um, necessary to remember how to find the greatest common factor. And we're going to kind of just do opposite of what we did before in the pre video previously um, when we were doing the distributive property. We're going to kind of like do the reverse. So here we go. We're going to think what is the greatest common factor between these two numbers, 8 and 4? That means what numbers multiply to get 8 or what numbers multiply to get 4 that they have in common and that it has to be the greatest. So I know 2 goes into both of them, but it's not the greatest common factor. What about 4? Yes. Four is the greatest common factor. If you forgot how to do that, go back to one of my old videos. So here we go. I'm going to use four to divide um, eight and to divide four. So here we go. Eight divided by four is two. So I'm gonna put four outside parentheses and eight divided by four is two and I'm gonna write two A plus. Now I have to ask myself, what is four divided by four? 4 divided by 4 is 1. So you really don't have to use 1 because when we talked about that invincible 1, you don't have to write down the 1. You can just write down the variable. If you do write the 1, that's great. If you don't, that's fine too. So I can just write B and, and the parentheses. How do I double check my work? Well, I go ahead and do the distributive property. 4 times 2A is 8A. Plus, keep the same sign, 4 times B is 4B. Done. Okay, let's go ahead and go for the next example. What number goes into 25 and goes into 5, and it is the greatest common factor? The greatest common factor would be 5. So I'm going to do 25 divided by 5 is 5x. Oops, excuse me. Is uh, I need to put the 5 outside. My greatest common factor goes outside the parentheses, parentheses, and I write 5x. So 5 times 5 would be 25x, right? Minus, keep the same sign, and 5 divided into 5 is 1. So I can write 1y, parentheses, or I could just get rid of the 1 and just leave y. How do I double check my work? Distribute. 5 times 5x is 25x, and 5 times y is negative 5y. All right, boys and girls, keep practicing.